What's happening guys? Welcome to our very first Coffee Conversations with Pastors. So today I got two local pastors with me. I got uh, Pastor Mika from Eastside Fellowship. I got Pastor Ron from 24-7. And uh, we collected some questions from our online community. Again, the point is here to uh, get questions that uh, people may have about uh, church or religion or God or some of the bigger uh, things in life and to see what if we can shed some light on it, biblically speaking. Um, and see, Biblically or pastorally or carefully no, or, you know, it's all right. whatever, you know. You can give your opinion, not that we have to listen to it, but we don't mind hearing it. <laughs> You're cold, man. I know, that's the way it is. Uh, so this uh, week, uh, since it's getting close to Easter, we decided to, well, let's get some questions about Easter. Yeah, I, you know, I... Uh... I think there's a plethora of, of reasons why that might be the reality. I think um, from a commercial standpoint within, uh, uh, you know, corporate, the corporate world, um, it is easier to sell Christmas. Um, it's easier to sell that story. It's a, it's a cookie cut story. It's nice, well put together. Um, and you almost don't even have to be Christian to at least acknowledge that Christ was born. and. And even if you struggle with that, it's turned into not just, you know, Merry Christmas, but Happy Holidays. And it's just, it's just easier. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, out, it's coming from Thanksgiving. So people have shopped. There's Good Friday, you know, uh, is it Good Friday? No, Black it's Friday. Black Friday. Come yeah, on, all, you should know Easter. Black Friday. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Black Friday. Um, that, now it's really turned into coffee yeah. conversation. Yeah, that, that, now it's a coffee yeah, conversation. Yeah, there you go. And... Uh, <laughs> But uh, but wrong for and so there's that season. There's that season of you know shopping, of family, of and then the kids go on holidays. And right. in, in some uh, countries there's snow. It's just you know there's 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 caroling. It's just it's just more of a of a palatable festive. and festive season. Uh, Easter is more direct. It's 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 more as some may say morbid. It's a, it's about the dying of of someone historical. And then we get to the other part where people struggle with even some religious people. Uh, did Christ really resurrect? And I think that's more theological. We don't want to deal with theology. Just let us have fun with Christmas. I think that's me personally. I mean, I would agree. I, I think that Christmas has a bigger chance of being commercialized and um, and just attractive. I mean, it's a baby. It's a nice baby story. There are animals. Who doesn't like mm -hmm. animals? Right. We tell animal stories. We tell baby stories. We tell angel stories. Mm -hmm. Angels a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, we can shepherds. Tell, yeah, yeah, shepherd right, stories. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a great story all around. Easy to digest. Easy to feel good about. But there are some dark parts that that are pretty much ignored in the Christmas narrative, right? Mm -hmm. um, there was the crazy man Herod that tried to kill the children, right. or he did kill children right. through some other people. There's no caroling about that story. Yeah. No. <laughs> like, how would you do that, right? Yeah. 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 But it was prophesied. Right. Right. Yeah, right, on. On. right on. Um, I think that Easter, though, Easter is um, is more in your face religious, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's a shorter holidays fan. Right. right. Mm -hmm. It's clearly religious. For many of us Christians, we like to highlight the idea of the resurrection and make that Easter, make it springtime, make it fertile, throwing the bunnies, throwing the eggs, everything's living, flowers are popping up, it's super nice. Um, but we do forget that the gospel... And the Easter narrative is much more the gospel than just the uh, right, passion right, week and the right, resurrection. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny that the timing, you know, we give a lot of the timing for Easter from spring and everything, but the timing biblically is from the Passover, uh -huh. which is from the killing of all the 
absolutely. the firstborn in the right. Old Testament. Gotcha. The, that's what oh, the Passover Why am I smiling said. when you say Passover? <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we like again. There's right. all this like kind of darkness to right. the Easter that I feel like consumerism. We've tried to lighten it up a lot, so like oh, right. I don't worry about all that stuff. Like right. it's fun. It's a fun time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah. Yes. Throw on whites. Yeah. Throw on our Easter white. Yeah, right. pastels. Nice yellows. And, yeah. Right. But right. I'm like, there's a lot of there's a lot of right. depth to Easter yeah. more so than the Christmas Correct. story. Wow. The idea of Easter is much more. A larger story, right, right. not mm -hmm. neatly packaged, right? And and you know, honestly, I'm not even sure if it's well packaged for many of our Christian churches. Right. right. I think a lot of us, uh, pastors, teachers, um, leaders, um, probably don't teach the Easter story as well as it could be taught. Right. Yeah. Really, the Easter story starts after the birth of Christ. Right. I mean, really, yeah, it, that's what he starts. Life. I mean, his whole ministry, he, he talks about his death. He talks about there's a time to come and, and the disciples don't understand what he's saying. They're like, what right. are you talking about? And like, he's right. he's prophesying like, look, man, I'm <laughs> the right. end is near for me. Exactly. Right. <laughs> you right. know? Exactly. Right. And like, really, the Easter story is the whole, the Gospels, right. all of them. And Correct. so that's a little hard to like, get into one little holiday. Right. Look, we'll right. spend this one Sunday on it. Like really, it's right. Everything should be about Easter. Yeah. So I like the way you said that because you know in John chapter thirteen. Um, there's that whole thing of what are you talking about? He's like, I'm going to a yeah. place. It's like, where are you going? You know where I'm going. Right. You know, can I come with you? No, you can't come with me. Yeah. I gotta go somewhere. Right. I gotta go do it before you before you get there. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do you'll get there too. So right. then we come into the promise of John chapter 14, verse one, right, mm -hmm. right. in my father's house. And then more. Um, so yeah, the, the story of Easter is huge compared right. to the story of Christmas. The point of Easter is far more, you can't, get past the resurrection of Christ. Right. Right, 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 You know, like, this is the whole point of it. If Christ resurrected, then he is completely God. Right. right Where if Jesus right. was born, historically would say, well, yeah, Jesus yeah, was born, absolutely. but it doesn't mean he was born of a virgin. It right, mean right, 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 right. It doesn't mean that he resurrected. But, and, and, yeah. and, right, exactly. Because more and more they're accepting that he was a historic figure. Yeah, and so um, Easter definitely has its ground in more of the true, and, and the, faith, the gospel, yeah, faith, the faith gospel yeah. of, of mm -hmm of the Bible, and right, so right. kind of hard to pull it away from right, that. So, right. I agree with you. Well, let me just take some of the blame. I think that uh, we as uh, leaders and pastors and Christians have also um, not been as clear about the Eastern narrative. So anyways, I, I think that, I think the main point is that it's easier to sell Christmas, honestly. Consumerism yeah. in our country, it's easier to sell Christmas the stories are, are more festive, a lot, you know, they're more fun. They're, they're great to include with, with children stories and, and songs and all that kind of stuff. It's just a more festive holiday. And so we can make a bigger deal out of it. I, I think in churches, Easter should be a bigger deal right. Right. Than, than Christmas, honestly. Right. Right. Myself. But consumerism makes it not. Right. Yeah. That's right. what we're saying, basically. Right, right, right. So we talked a little bit about why Christmas is a bigger deal than Easter, um, here in America at least, because that's where we live. And which leads us to the next question, because we did talk a lot about the death of Christ and how that's not as easy to sell. Um, and so the second question is, well, when I finally do hear about Easter, I always hear more about the death of Christ than I hear about the resurrection of Christ. And so therefore I feel as though I'm somewhat misinformed or I just don't know so much about what the importance of the right. Easter day is. From a dramatic, on-screen uh, point of view, it is easier to display and to and to show uh, the death. Um, and so I think of just a plethora of of of, re of crucifixion, you know, stories, movies, including the Passion the of the Christ. Christ mm -hmm. um, it's it's easier just to kind of show the lead up to that, starting from Palm. Uh, Sunday. All 
throughout the week to the trial. I mean, come on, you guys, the mm. trial. That's right. pretty. Trial. I wash my you know, hands. Well, even before the <laughs> trial, the walking into the Garden of Gethsemane. <laughs> Kiss of, of betrayal. The disciples sleeping in the, the last supper, and, yeah. and, and Peter chopping the air off the Last Supper and Christ putting the air back on. And Being whooped and yeah. um um and 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 who was the guy that was uh, brought out and freed because of uh, Barabbas? Barabbas, you know, and Jesus washing. I mean, Pilate washing his hands and going to Herod and back and forth, and him down the. Uh, Via Dolorosa to oh, to, to the cross. Oh, I had to roll my tongue. You know. But even as I'm even saying it, it's really exciting, right? It's really right. Well, it's dramatic. Um, it's, it's, it's dramatic, and 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 Eli, Eli, mm. you know, my God, why have you forsaken me? And the in the hands and in the feet and um it's, it's 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 you know honing in on that it's just easier from a uh from a cinema standpoint to to portray it and and of and course story, telling and from, of the story and telling of the story um and also from a from a preacher standpoint i gotta be honest you know from pulpit it's yeah, easier you, you for can me. pull emotions oh there. absolutely yeah. like he died for you yeah. you know that nail that was for you you know what yeah. i mean like ah! Totally. Oh, like, you. Well, why, why are you, you know, <laughs> But he said, but, but now, like, now he's going to change the sermon. Now. Yeah, change <laughs> that. You know? Don't do that. And, but uh, no, you certainly know, that's right. there. So and, you can absolutely pull a lot of oh, drama. Oh, absolutely. And then, you know, him. But, but, you know, but I just want to be careful that there is drama there without us needing to add it, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not arguing. The story is dramatic already. The story is dramatic. And he until up until his last breath, you know, into the hands I commend my spirit. Boom. Even before he dies, he saves a thief on the cross. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. And then <sighs> dies, right? Mm -hmm. um, Rich, what we really quickly do, what we really do, that's another discussion, is we really go over the Sabbath, the importance of the Sabbath there, mm -hmm. um, really, but he, as he rests. Yeah, he just and, slept for a day. But he, but it, exactly, Let's he just get slept, right? <laughs> um, but know, then on right. Sunday, you know, oh, that man. resurrection. When you build you it know. up to that Sunday, that's, that's it. Mm -hmm. I, I think, um, am I cutting you off? Man? He really just cut me off. You see that, folks? That's what he does all the time. He's my friend. I just, he's whack. Anyways. That's, this is what happens when you get pastors <laughs> together. They all want to be the one talking. Right, 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 right. But, but, but Sunday is just, that's cool, man. you know, he comes out of the tomb. Um. And yeah. usually, if it, so for the passion, for the passion for the uh, of the Christ, mm -hmm. is he? It just ends right there. He Christ gets up, shows the nail, the the holes, and that's it. So I just think that Sunday is amazing, but less dramatic for some people. I think. So the idea now is it's beyond just the Bible says he resurrected. Mm -hmm. Now it's in the world of what has resurrection done for you, mm -hmm. and when we get into that world of, okay, he's died. Um, and that's that's good and hard, that's good to preach. It's easy to preach. But when we get into the world of, well, what has resurrection done for you? What has it changed uh, mm -hmm. for you, for your church, for the community? I think that that uh, is not as easy to state. I think for some places it's, it's easier to state, and for for a lot of places it's not as easy to state. And I think that's why it's hard to speak to the idea of what resurrection has done for us for our churches, for our community. It's easier to say that he died, and it's harder to say it's changed me in this way. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably why 
uh, a lot more people are reluctant to speak to the idea of resurrection because if I speak resurrection, then I have to speak about how I've been resurrected, how my family has been resurrected, uh -huh. right? right? Right. And I think that that's, that's a little more raw and that's a little more gritty. Mm -hmm. And um, wow, see, it's even brought us down here. Yeah. You guys have gotten all sad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I, th I think that the resurrection is difficult to talk about because the responsibility leaves Christ and it shifts to mm. his disciples and it shifts basically to us. Right. You know, and so now it's kind of like put your money where your mouth is. It was the rubber meets the road. Like Christ did his deal. Yeah. He came, he lived the life that we should live. We talk about it. We should be Christ like. He died for our sins. It's over. His resurrection means you can do it too. Right. You know, and so that's a little. And and and, and what you what Sergio's talking about is, I, I think. Well, to add on to that is, if you really want to give the full story of the resurrection, it I don't want to say ends, but or ends uh, in terms of Christ being on earth with Him ascending into heaven mm -hmm. and giving that that great commission. Right. Great commission. You know, all and Christ goes to the, the the you know the, the five alls. All power is given to me. Mm -hmm. Now you go here therefore and preach to all nations. Now now it's you. Baptizing in the Father and teaching them to observe all things, and I'm with you always. always. You know, it's it's a holistic gospel, but Christ is saying, "You now go ahead and do it. I have the power. I'm giving it to you." Uh, I don't know if I want to do. You know what I mean? It's just yeah, because you know, you know we all struggle, right? Yeah. Right. And and if 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 folks are looking at me, and I want to preach resurrection, then it's very easy for someone else to look at me and look at the person preaching resurrection and say, well, yeah. well where's the resurrection? Right. Yeah. Right. Where's the Easter? Right. Oh my goodness, that's a sermon. I think I'm gonna preach that. Not one day. I preach it. Yeah. But one day. <laughs> yeah. I'm preaching this yeah. Friday. You're cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. and as you guys are talking, in going into your point, I felt like the resurrection, there is, it's like black and white. Yeah, there yeah, is yeah. no gray area. Like, Easter means that Christ rose from the dead. If Christ rose from the dead, then he is the Savior, and everything is true. Right. Right? And so that's a lot harder to swallow. To really swallow so. And be in a conversation with someone to right. be like, no, right. Christ rose from the dead. That's why he's, he's God. Right. So that's kind of our thoughts. Any, any just any just last thoughts, you know, one two sentences about yeah. why not so much the resurrection. Yeah. Well, I just want to say day. real quick. Um, th I know as we continue this program, there are going to be more, uh, I think, directed questions towards scripture and how we believe a particular verse is is, is you know parsed or whatever. These two questions were more, I think. Uh, presented to for me to answer with my opinion it was just my opinion and so i just want to say for all of us it was really our opinions you know what i mean right. um um well it's an nothing. opinionated question correct why do exactly. we focus more exactly on... it wasn't a theological question yeah. it was opinion so I, I guarantee there are some of you out there that could have answered those questions even better and and, and more simply but um but yeah i know i really think that these questions were, were great questions and uh i think uh, for me as i read these questions and as i try to answer them I'm trying within myself to be a better pastor, to be a better Christian. You know, how can I highlight the death and resurrection of Christ more and, and, and present that more um, in a way that not just the church, but the unchurched could, could you know, dialogue in a conversation about it. So, Mika? So I'm, I'm thinking that, um, yeah, certainly the questions, I think, uh, on a large, there are large questions because it's, <laughs> It's, it's a popular question, right? Um, and so I think it's appropriate that we, we dive into these questions. I think for me, um, in the ministry that I'm involved in, is it really speaks to um, how I, or if I am dealing with the questions that are out at large. Because uh, we enjoy studying, and right. we enjoy theology, right. and sometimes that ivory tower is a very nice place to live. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy the ivory tower, um, but I'm glad that we kind of hit a little bit more rubber to the road yeah. with Get this kind of question. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so thanks for the rubber. 
yes. road. <laughs> yes. Uh, however yes. it works. Yeah. Keep them coming. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for the questions. Hopefully we did diligence here. Hopefully you guys learned something. And if you want to hear more about this, send us some more questions on our Facebook page. Like us on our Facebook page, Coffee Conversations. We'll have more videos to come. Can if, they send suggestions as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can yeah. send suggestions on the, on the Facebook or you can email us. So I'll have the emails for all of us. Right. Um, and if you're looking for a church, there's definitely 24-7. There's Eastside Fellowship here. Of course, we're locally in Bellevue. And in Kirkland, Bellevue, Washington, Bellevue, right. Washington, Kirkland, Kirkland Washington, Washington. or just, you know, if you're from far away, just uh -huh. check us stuff out online. Hopefully as time goes on, we'll have more videos. But again, guys, thank right you. On. And I don't want to say too much, but peace out.